Hey friends, welcome to today's episode. I hope you are ready for today's episode. Top five tips for counting your macros when your busy schedule doesn't let you eat at regular hours. Now my friends, if you're somebody who is in this space like I was, I want you to get all the information that you can from this episode. So my friends, I hope you're ready. Let's get into it. Hey friend, welcome to Lose Weight with Macros, the basics podcast show with me, your host Verona, where I believe if you are the woman that you are struggling to lose weight, you're sick of crash diets, fad diets and gimmicks and you are willing to do whatever it takes to get the results that you want, you are in the right place. If you're somebody who's overwhelmed by all of the conflicting information out there, you're confused about how much protein you should be eating, how to count macros, you don't have time to figure out your macros and you're sick and tired of repeating the same old boring meals because it is exhausting, you are in the right place because my friend, this Lose Weight With Macros Basics podcast is specifically for you. You're the woman who wants to learn how to track your macros and do it sustainably do it in a way that you can enjoy your foods and you don't have to cut out your favorite foods and we're not here for that so my friends if this is you grab your tea grab your coffee grab your water grab your matcha your notepad and pen because today's episode is going to be a juicy one and you're going to need to take notes so buckle up friends let's get it We're talking about, and I'm giving you my top five tips for counting your macros when your busy schedule doesn't let you eat at regular hours. Now, I remember Anita. Anita was a nurse. Anita worked with me. She came to me through Instagram. Now, I'm not on Instagram now as I was back then. It's a whole new season. It's a whole new season of life. And my confidence, my thing right now is coming to you. If you're not in the community, if you're not grabbing the emails and you can't get regular updates that you need to, go to the website, download the freebie recipe pack, vanutritioncoaching.co.uk forward slash recipes and download the five free ingredients 40 recipes in there and what you will then do is be added to the newsletter the newsletter has got everything related to nutrition fat loss all of those fantastic things and they come out once a week don't worry i'm not bombarding your email box with unwanted email there's nothing worse but you will also get to know when i'm releasing these episodes so when i'm doing the workshop for to help you stop snacking you who are already on the newsletter will be able to have that at a discounted cost so it's not open to everybody who listens to the podcast it's exclusive to those who are on the newsletter list and you can just jump jump on the newsletter list anywhere on the website vanutritioncoaching.co.uk or specifically download the recipes and let me know how you are finding those recipes now back to the story I remember when I was working with Anita now when it comes to Anita Anita was a nurse Anita was doing shift work and that's one of the things that attracted Anita, Anita to working with me was the shift work one of her things that she says in her testimony was on the website now her testimony was I, I liked working with Verona because she's a normal person. She even asked me, do I have abs? I said, yeah, I've got abs, but they're under a layer of fat. So don't get it twisted. But one of the things that she did say was I liked Verona because she was down to earth and she's a normal person like us. And what tracking macros really helped me do is it helped me to understand how to eat my favorite foods, including chocolate and still lose weight. Now, what we did specifically, because coming from a background where I was doing shift work and all I lived on was Coke, was chocolate, was sweets, was fizzy drinks, anything that I could get my hands on to give me a quick burst of energy that's something that I did and Anita came to me and she used to eat a full-on lunch meal I'm talking sandwiches I'm talking crisps I'm talking chocolate at 4 a.m in the morning and she was wondering why is it that she's not losing weight so we rejigged all of her meal plan we rejigged all of that and we focused specifically on customized macros see when I'm talking about customized macros I'm not joking when I'm talking about customized macros I literally went through her meal plan with a fine tooth comb and you can go ahead to the website via nutritioncoaching.co.uk to finish reading her testimonial to see how she found that she was then able to lose weight through training through nutrition and she wasn't eating sandwiches a whole sandwich meal that you'd eat at lunch at four o'clock in the morning because friends when it comes to being busy and when we don't work when we have a busy schedule where we're not eating at regular hours it's easy to pick up scraps off the children's plate you can't bear to see food wasted so you would rather take the scraps off their plate and say no 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 where you going don't put that in the bin give it to me and then fill yourself up with four or five or even more cups of coffee per day and you might be going out to Starbucks you might be going out to your favorite coffee place you might be going out and just eating buying them every single day and spending $50 per week on coffee that's just it no food just coffee so you might be doing that but she's not there in that place anymore I'm not in that place anymore once you learn how to do these things it makes these things a lot easier now Anita was a one-to-one client of mine so we had that time to specifically go through it if you want to do this specifically then by all means sign up for for one-to-one coaching but if you're somebody who wants to do this collective 
actually as a group, then focus on the fat loss, you can sign up and join us there. Now, when it comes to nutrition, there are a lot of people out there who want to count their macros, but they don't actually know how to do it. Which, if you're a regular here, you might be asking yourself why I've changed the name from VA Nutrition Coaching, the podcast. Now, my business is called VA Nutrition Coaching. VA is my initials before I'm married. So, (laughs) Verona Angle is my name, and that is just what came to me as to get the website. And it just felt natural to have the podcast at the same name. But it wasn't until recently that I went and did a podcast podcast revamp and one of the one of the advice that I got was to change my podcast cover and I'm a little bit hard-headed if you're like me and you're a little bit hard-headed and you're like well why do I need to change it it's good it's doing fine thank you but what actually happened once I changed it I had incredible feedback once I changed it now this isn't a magic fix this isn't a magic pill these tips for counting your macros when you're busy is not a once and done thing you have to put one skin in the game two sometimes that skin in the game is financial you are you whether you're financially signing up to focus on a fat loss or you're financially focusing and buying the right foods that you need to be and cutting down on the amount of coffee that you need. If you're having four or five or even more cups of coffee per day because you're trying to stay awake, then we need to focus on different things that are happening back there. But when it comes to macros, there are a lot of people how who want to count macros, but they just don't know how to do it. But I can tell you it's a very simple process. I want to encourage you that it is a simple process, but weight loss done wrong seems over, is, is overwhelming. When you're doing weight loss the wrong way, you get overwhelmed by it. But once you start to get right, you start to understand oh this is what I need to do I didn't learn this on the last coaching program that I went on oh I didn't learn this from the last coach that I had not every coach wants to give you their secrets that's that's you know that's up to different coaches but I remember when I signed up to a coach and it was the worst coaching program I've ever bought in my life let me be real like Sometimes, no disrespect to the coaches, but it just was a hit and miss. And they came up with all of the talk. They talked the talk and they were like, yeah, 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 this is going to be it. When I signed up to the coaching program, it was not the best coaching program and it could have been a lot better. And you might be asking yourself the same question. How do I know your coaching program is going to work for me? One, go to the website, vanutritioncoaching.co.uk forward slash focus to see everything that we're teaching and to hear the people who have gone through coaching with me. Also, go back to listen to episode 137 where I'm doing live coaching and episode 138 fat loss Q&A everything related to this program if you're asking questions when it comes to investing and putting skin in the game you are absolutely right to ask questions this is a serious change that you're about to do for your health it's overwhelming it's scary you're battling thoughts that is this going to work you're battling the negative thoughts or the enemy that's saying to you this ain't going to work you're going to waste your money like you did in the last program you ain't going to lose fat you're always going to be fat silence the voice of the enemy tell him to get behind me satan tell him to stop talking in your head and do what you need to do get up and stand up i'm speaking to you to say stand up bold woman of God. Yes, I'm not even talking about investing in this program. I I would love you to join this program. I would love you to be one of the 20 women. But standing up and doing what you need to do from this episode alone is still making a difference, is still making a change in your nutrition and in your weight because you are not happy with the way you look. You hate yourself. You hate your body. You hate that you overeat. You hate that you make this sloppy sound when you chew. You hate the way that you bite into burgers. You're so critical of yourself. It is just really getting to the point where your husband can't even begin to speak life over you anymore because you are that focused on speaking negativity over your life so much so that it's destroying you. It's destroying you. It's destroying your comfort. Now, I know I've gone off track because this is important to remember. And I remember when I used to sign up to these kind of coaches and I was so excited, but I didn't get what I wanted. One, because my expectations for the program were different. Two, I actually didn't even put in all of the work that I needed to do. One, it was across different time zones and the time zones that they were doing wasn't really working for me. So I didn't really show up. I didn't do the homework. So I didn't get the results I wanted because I wasn't doing the things that I needed to do. Needless to say, there were some improvements that could have been made on the program, but other people did get the results who did put the work in. But that's the difference when it comes to those sort of things I'm not going to lie to you there are coach programs that are not very good there's recently I signed up for another coaching program or I signed up and I spent some money on something to do with the podcast or how I can better the podcast it wasn't good either it was just like some slapdash notes and that was it and I understand when in the world of coaching if you're not working on a one-to-one you can't get one-to-one support if you're expecting one-to-one support in eight weeks coaching then this program isn't for you you will probably be better suited off to one-to-one because one-to-one I'm having that conversation with 
with you and on one episode 137 that's some of the things that we will be talking through and that's the way that I coach in terms of a mom with children four children who has struggled with weight loss for her whole life done quick fixes and she's trying to maintain it so that gives you an insight and it's the first time I've done it. it gives you an insight as to how I coach and what to expect with me and you've also got to see my face a little bit chubby on zoom I'm like oh my gosh why is zoom looking making me look like chipmunk cheeks looking like Alvin and the chipmunks right here what's wrong with you but that gives you an idea and with permission I was able to share this don't worry I'm not going to share your thing if you're not giving me permission to do that I'm not sharing it don't worry unless you it's only shared if you give me information to and of course I will change your name so that introduction to these top five tips you're probably like thrown away the top tips sometimes I've got to set you up I've got to give you context you know I can't just go straight in for the kill like we don't just go straight in for dessert when we go out for a meal we've got to go to the starters first that wets our appetite pun intended then we're getting on to the mains and we're like yeah this is fantastic fantastic then we get on to the dessert and it's a free course meal and you're like oh this is how I want you to come to the table in these podcast episodes and you leave feeling satisfied and you're like yeah I'm coming back there again when you do come back though bring a sister friend okay So when it comes to macros, to make sure that you are able to successfully count your macros when your schedule is just not falling in line with your nutrition, it's not playing ball, it's not playing game, it's not doing what you want it to do, and it doesn't allow you or your time to eat at normal hours or hours that you will regularly eat, there are some things, believe it or not, that you can do. Number one, coming in strong, don't sweat the small stuff. Now you might be like, huh, what kind of tip is that? I'm going to tell you what kind of tip it is. Don't focus on what you can't have. Now, many of us, we look at other women. Like if you're somebody who is on social media, you might see women with before and after photos. I used to love off of before and after photos because I'm a visual person. But the visual photos only told me what I could literally see before they were fat. Then they lost the fat. But it didn't tell me what they did in between. It only showed me, as I like to call it, a highlight reel. And we get so attracted to that. We're like, wait, what did you do? What did you eat? Where, tell me this tell me that relax don't focus on what you can't have because you can't have her goals because you are not her and that's a hard pill to swallow but girl I gotta tell you the truth when I was looking out for other women and I'm like I quite admire that before and after what did you do? Your belly looks like mine. Oh my gosh, my belly is overhanging. Tell me what you did. It's natural to ask these kind of questions. But what we're doing is we're focusing on something that we cannot have because we are not that person. Now, when you're trying to lose weight, it's definitely easy to get caught up in the idea of I'm not going to eat this. And then I definitely can't eat that. Then you start to feel deprived. I'll never forget when I did Slimming World. I did Slimming World and I became Slimmer of the Week. I got the certificate. Everybody clapped for me and all of that stuff. I remember when I used to go there, it was quite an early morning morning meeting that I did now this is no disrespect to Slimming World but this is how I that's it this is my encounter and many women who have no longer doing this way of eating or diet this is how that is now first of all they don't count calories So they count sins instead, S-Y-N-S, not S-I-N-S. Now, sins means sinning against God or you've done something wrong. Whether you are somebody who believes in Jesus or not, you will understand the word sins. We all know what that comes from. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Even if you've gone to Catholic church, you will know that you go to the confession box and then you confess your sins. We don't need to do that now. We now can go to the throne of God and the throne of grace boldly ourselves. We can cut out the middleman. Let's go straight to him ourselves. That's what Jesus did. And that's what the power of Jesus' sacrifice was. We can now go to him ourselves. And it's so much better when you can go direct you know so it's the same sort of thing when we're like forgive me father for i've sinned when we go over those sins or when i went over my sins i was like oh gosh for real i feel like i sinned against my diet i feel like i've sinned against the women in the slimming club and the immense guilt wrecked me because when i got back the next week they were like oh never mind you gained weight never mind sorry if anybody speaks like this but that's how they ended up speaking to me and it was so loud and it was so in front of everybody i'm white i'm black skinned if i was white believe me or I would lighter skinned and and I could blush you could see when I was blushing believe me in that moment I would have blushed it was almost like ground open up and swallow me now quickly don't wait do it now it was so embarrassing it was so humiliating that is not what weight loss is supposed to be because you can get so caught up in the idea of you can't eat this you can't eat that if you've done this then you've sinned you then start to get caught up into that feeling deprived you're missing out so then you just go completely left and you start to binge things and you start to restrict yourself thinking this is what I need to do to lose weight if I want to lose weight I need to cut this out I need to stop drinking this stop eating that stop doing this no I'm telling you no and I'm telling you that's 
not how it works. Has it worked for you by doing that so far? The answer is no, it hasn't. It didn't work for me. It didn't work for my client in one episode 137 when we did live coaching. It didn't work for any of the clients that come to work with me because that is what that does. When you start to tell yourself a list of do's and don'ts and I can't eat this, can't eat that, can't eat that. Your head is filled with, I want it, I want it, I want this, I want cake, I want cake, I want cake. The more you tell yourself you can't have a thing because our nature is rebellious naturally, we want that thing even more. But if you start to focus on having a balance, which is what I teach you in Focus on the Fat Loss, then it's not just your cravings go away. It's also you find ways to maintain and have the best of both worlds. You literally find out how you can have your cake and eat it too. Okay. I'm sadly not a fan of cake. Uh, chocolate cake sometimes, but cake, mm -mm, it's just too sweet for me. Meanwhile, my niece loves cake. She'll eat the icing. She will everything. She loves off a cake. Mm -mm, birthday cake as well. Mm -mm, not me. No, thanks. But those of you who love cake, don't go on with yourself I'm gonna teach you how to do all of that and in when you're not also when you're not focusing don't sweat in the small stuff don't focus on what you can't eat instead when we're focusing on the mindset aspect is shifting your mindset so instead you instead of you going into that place where you start to obsess over what you can't eat what's on the bad list what makes you bad if you eat it I'm not making light of these things but these things are taught so much in our minds that we start to think this is gospel this is the truth about nutrition this is the truth about weight loss bro they lied to you they lied to take your money whatever diet that it is if it's teaching you in a way to restrict food to cut out whole food groups to cut out any type of food instead of focusing on other ways to balance it it's a diet don't tell me anything else it's a diet and a diet is a way of restricting yourself from losing weight sorry restricting yourself from food in order to lose weight or for medical reasons if neither of you have been told that you need to cut out this particular food or type of food for medical reasons then sad to say well, not actually sad to say, then the reality is that that's a diet. And I was caught up in this too before I kind of had a revelation moment or an epiphany. Number two, slowly start to add more macros for the day. Don't try to do too much at once. It's tempting when you're trying to do macros to do everything at once. And this can actually be worse for you. This can actually do more harm than good because when we first start counting their macros, when we first start tracking their macros, especially if you're trying to lose weight, you're going to start off by adding all of your food into We Use My Fitness Pal. And then you're going to get overwhelmed at how much you have to eat. Especially especially if you're somebody who has been used to restricting yourself from calories. I've had that many times where clients have come to work with me and they've been like, oh, I could never eat that much amount, that much amount of food. However, we're talking about understanding here why this is the amount of food that you need. And so what happens is you start to get into your patterns and your habits that you've always known, which is skipping meals because you ain't got time. You haven't got time. You ain't got energy for all of this food tracking. Now, if you are in that place, I want to encourage you that there are ways to break this down. It might take you a little bit longer than eight weeks, but if we are running to live this way for the rest of our life, there's no rush. This is not a, what's the saying? This is a marathon, not a sprint. You're not doing a hundred meter sprint here. You are doing this for the rest of your life. This is literally a lifestyle, teaching you how to maintain this as a lifestyle. And I'm excited. I'm excited to come alongside you, for you to open up to me, to trust me, to trust the other women that are on the, co on the program with you, to open open up and to share what's we'll go through the rules but what you share stays there unless you are sharing something that says that you're at risk of harm then that has to go outside of the group not to all and sundry but to the relevant people that can help support you if that is you and you fall into that line that is something as a professional that is something as a therapist that I have to do and I just want to in ensure that you are aware of that so when it comes to doing this slow and steady Eddie I'll talk about slow and steady Eddie all of the time in fact I might even create myself a t-shirt about slow and steady Eddie so we can all get a t-shirt actually actually what I wanted to do was to give you guys one of your own if you're like somebody somebody who likes sweatshirts if you're somebody who likes sweatshirts girl I got you I got you for joining and signing up I got you okay mm -hmm. I got you you can go to the store and choose any as long as we have it in stock you can choose any t-shirt or apparel and that will be yours yours personally when you sign up obviously it might take a while to get there if you're in the states but you can sign up that's what you'll be getting from me number three getting enough protein by eating a variety of foods protein is king i've talked about this on instagram i've talked about this in reels i've talked about it on the website i've talked about it on the podcast i've talked about it in the blogs a well-balanced meal should have some form of protein and a carb and a fat. So if you're somebody who is plant-based, there are still forms of protein that you can eat. We are talking about all kinds of foods here when it comes to building nutrition and building a healthy balanced plate so that you can lose weight. <laughs> you see what I did there? That wasn't intended, but you know, I went with it. Number four, drink your water. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated 
hydrated friends we need to stay hydrated not just in summer months not just in hot weather but we need to stay hydrated i'm gonna get a little bit geeky for you right now but when you think about it our bodies are made up of 70 percent water literally my mouth saying that great but i think that's over three quarters of our body is made up of water then we've got the fat then we've got the tissue then we've got the bones and all of that other stuff when we're not drinking enough water our bodies are not going to function properly and that's when we can fall into dehydration i remember this is about magnesium but i remember when sometimes i'd just be sitting and it's almost like somebody's tapping on you like that they, they, like can you hear the tap and that's what the twitch is it's good twitching fibers you've got muscle twitching fibers that are in your muscles and it's just my muscles is just doing that and i'm like huh what is that when I discovered I was dehydrated and not drinking enough water, that is a sign for me to know, okay, you need a little bit more magnesium. And magnesium can easily be sourced from supplements or can easily be sourced from coconut water, which is a more natural source. And it is also a carbohydrate. But when you're dehydrated, that can lead to headaches. It can lead to being irritable. And sometimes you can even encounter dizzy spells. So you might not actually know this, but dehydration also plays a role in weight gain. And the reason why is we can mistake those district those dehydration pangs as girl it's time to eat give me some food but if you've just eaten how can your body be sing- signaling that it's time to eat again so it's about distinguishing the difference between those things if you don't like plain water you might have to get used to it or there are other things that you can do spice it up flavor it up jazz it up but drink your water number five the final tip today's episode top five tips for counting your macros and your busy schedule doesn't allow you or it doesn't even let you eat at regular hours is you can have your wine and stay on macro track that was so out of key but hey it's late at night here and it's time for me to go actually it's not even late it's quarter to nine. Oh no winter is coming autumn is coming it's dark outside it's literally like 10 o'clock dark side note oh my gosh i love winter i'm almost a winter I, I almost i'm a winter baby and i love autumn sorry 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 so for those who are waiting for tip number five i'm sorry welcome to my brain um i've got to show a bit of personality here so i'm sitting behind the mic you can't see me you can't see all my animated stuff you can't see my fan self you can't see my beautiful skin you can't see my beautiful horror girl i'm just trying to make it as fun as possible because sometimes it can be a little bit like oh, this woman's just talking in my head this is my personality you either love me or you don't like me believe me there are some people who don't like me but it's their loss not mine okay anyway tip number five wine is a great source of antioxidants if you are somebody who enjoys wine me personally i'm not somebody who drinks alcohol but that does not affect how i'm going to coach you i will talk about how macros you track your macros you track your calories most of my clients that i've worked with do like to have a little bit of wine and they do want to know how this can affect their weight loss and how they can implement it into their day-to-day so i'm teaching everybody that when it comes to focus on the fat loss now hear me here friends do not take this from this podcast that i am telling you to go and pop open a bottle of red wine that's science that's not my recommendation to you okay but it's about equipping you to know that you don't have to restrict yourself we're not into restriction here because i've already talked about what restriction does so i'm not going to make you pay for coaching and then cause you to restrict your food ain't nobody got time to be doing that we ain't going to do that here so just want to let you know that you can enjoy your foods but it's about having food freedom and changing your relationship with food in closing that's one of the things that i want to help you do i want to help you focus on the bigger picture than focusing and getting so bogged down with oh my gosh i made this mistake let me tell you hands are up right now both hands are raised and i tell you i've been caught up in this mentality and it's still attack sometimes you know what you're not this you're not that i'm never going to run away from it but what i am going to be is confident enough to know when those things come one as a christian woman i can take up my sword which is the bible and be like no i'm gonna cut you off from my mind for those of you who aren't christian i'm still going to give you tools as to how to navigate your nutrition so when it comes to mindset you know the key things that you need to grab a hold of and not let go have you ever been so relentless have you ever ever had one of your children just grab their ankle and you're literally dragging them on the floor they're refusing to let you go that's how i want you to get when it comes to your nutrition i want you to get militant not so militant that we're in the army or this is a drill do sergeant sergeant drop and give me 20 we're not doing that either we're not in the army so you don't need to be as rigid we're in everyday life we're in everyday life you've got seasons coming up you've got holidays coming up and i want to equip you with every single tool that you need to have success specifically related to you friends i hope this episode has helped you to get these five tips that you need to successfully count your macros when life just gets busy and you don't really have the time but you don't want to you don't have to be perfect If you make small mistakes here and there, do 
not stress. I'm going to be there to help encourage you. Friends, keep it moving, move forward with your goals and you continue right where you left off. You haven't messed up. This isn't the key or the signal to be like, right, I've messed up and then go off track. This isn't that. When I help you in why we sabotage our, our, our weight loss goals, why we do all of those things, it will make so much more sense. Hey friend, you made it to the end of the episode. What was your biggest takeaway from today's episode? Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast and leave a review over on iTunes and if you have any questions comments or concerns about today's episode or you need help then you can contact me over on Instagram at VA Nutrition Coaching Podcast or email me support at VA Nutrition Coaching.co.uk or you can head over to the Facebook page VA Nutrition Coaching Podcast it helps us reach even more women who are fed up with dieting don't know how to lose weight they're frustrated with following Sally's results and they're not getting any of their own and they just finally want to shed some pounds and do it in a way that they can sustain and they can enjoy but my friends that's a wrap for today's episode i can't wait to catch you on the next one until then friends stay healthy stay blessed and remember if you haven't already downloaded your five ingredient recipe pack you can go to the website vanutritioncoaching.co.uk forward slash recipes and download your five ingredient recipe pack who said healthy eating was boring see you next time friends